Listen to your parents. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Listen to your parents. <laughs> yeah, again. Oh, careful, careful. I'm gonna take that out of your paycheck. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Sick, dude. Well, have you heard anything from Steve-O? Uh, yeah, I talked to him the other day. Sick? Yeah. Hell yeah. Stoked. Yeah. Yeah, um... Damn, how was gel? Um, it wasn't that bad. Put your hands together for Poopy! Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, dude, you fucking that straight metal to the nuts. Yeah. The shittiest podcast in the world. All right, you guys, welcome back to a special, special episode. I got my boy slash cast member, Zach Ass. What's up? Dude, dude we're doing it. Yeah, we are. Finally. Uh, yeah, I've man. wanted to get Zach on here for so long and... <laughs> um, you know, we've been going through some things and um, couldn't really get get here at the same time. So I'm very stoked we're here. Yeah, I'm super stoked. Hell dude. yeah! And yeah, we're so both <laughs> and we're both sober. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, dude. <laughs> no worries, dude. So the first question is, um, how many times have you been kicked in the nuts? Um, dude, I've really lost count, but like. So I used to do this thing called like two dollar nut shots okay. when I was like younger and like didn't have money, and I would like go to Chicago with like and be and have people pay me two dollars to get kicked in the nuts, and I would like sometime once a couple of the times I had like over like a hundred people do it. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! They, they poor did not, boys. They poor, did not care. Dude. They did they not were, like, care. Huh? They didn't give a fuck, dude. One guy like <laughs> lifted me off the ground. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was so, he was huge, dude, and he like fucking really kicks me. So, dude, yeah, you're that, gnarly. So like, I mean, but then all the different nut shots that I've done on video and stuff. So we're probably, and I've done that a lot. And then sometimes people like fans and stuff will come up to me and want to kick me in the nuts. But I haven't really been doing that much lately because it's like I don't want to get kicked in the nuts all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for gnarly. sure. You got to um, start a Patreon for that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's probably, I just did a gnarly nut shot the other day that I'm going to post. That was fun. Dude, I seen <laughs> the other day you had um, a little person jump on your nuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was these guys from this uh, YouTube channel or, or something called uh, Grandma's House TV. They're, they're really funny. They're fun to hang out with, too. Then I accidentally kicked one of them in the head when I was trying to kick this like can off their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Did he get worked or what? Uh, not. It wasn't too bad, but it was like it was enough that I was like I felt bad about it. I was like, no, I usually always make this. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I saw that clip. It looked amazing. Yeah. So I mean, probably with the nutshot stuff, it's I'm saying. It's in the thousands. You know? Okay. <laughs> and you can, they're still working? Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know how good, like how, like, I don't know what my sperm count is, but like they, it still works. <laughs> Damn, dude. A thousand nut shots, you guys. Like that's got to be like the most nut shots, probably <laughs> world record. <laughs> I want to say we got to look that up. Um, yeah, dude, I, I, I got a nut kick from you like a month ago <laughs> Yeah, that was smart. and you went underneath my, my nuts and hit me right in the chode. <laughs> like that hurt more than a nut shot. Yeah, I think does. chode shots are like the worst thing that you could ever <laughs> experience. Yeah. So yeah, I got to feel that. And your, your, your shoe was not soft at all. No, it it was like a hard yeah. shoe, dude. I was like, <laughs> dude, it hurt so bad. Like my butthole hurt. It was like my butthole. Yeah, that was happens hurting. sometimes. When yeah, you yeah. Nuts too hard, so like hit like the whole surrounding area. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think you're just like a little too close or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, you got me pretty good. Uh, it's. I think it's worse though when they don't like go up and under. Like it will. Like if they just hit direct nuts, like as a full kick, it's so much worse, <laughs> dude. It's so much worse. Like Hell when I was yeah. with Stevo on tour doing stand up, this this one lady like kicked me in the nuts with her prosthetic leg, and I didn't think about it being like all metal. 
Uh-huh. And it was so bad. It was so fuck. bad. Fuck. Yeah, dude. You, fucking that straight metal to the nuts. Yeah. Damn, dude. I don't want one of those at all. Yeah. Keep me out of that mess. <laughs> so what else? Um, what else have you been up to? Um, I'm gonna start a new podcast soon. Um, I've been doing like a little bit of acting, been writing, started making like music and stuff. Uh I just joined this uh like comedy music group called Bad Circus. Oh fuck. So that's yeah. gonna be cool. We're gonna start having stuff on Spotify and all that stuff soon. Sick. Yeah, when we we're living together we we came up with something pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that that Steve Lacey parody. That yeah, I made. dude, I seen <laughs> yeah. you sent that to me, and I was like, yeah. yes. Yeah. I was showing my girlfriend Hannah, and she's like, "What is this?" And I go, <laughs> and I go, just listen, just listen. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to show them the the audio of that. I need to be my meat. I need to. Like a bad habit. <laughs> That's awesome. What show um you guys were working on? Um Are I'm, you trying to do your ghost hunter thing? Yeah, I'm trying to do that still. Um I'm not gonna be able to film it until like sometime in the summer. Um but I'm also I have this uh, other pilot that's kind of like an adult swim like style show. Sick. It has to do with like karate and skating. And okay. <laughs> sort of Damn. Ridiculous. Doing ninja kicks on ninja <laughs> kicks on the skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Wear your helmet. <laughs> yeah. Please. I just went to the we, dirt bike. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wear your helmet because you're gonna fall. <laughs> we have like this. We have it. Uh, it's gonna be rigged up where we have like a wire thing. So when we're doing oh, the skate stuff, yeah, it actually can look real because like none of us can actually do tricks except for Chad. Um, my friend Chad Tepper. Yeah, I know Chad. Uh, yeah, he can do tricks, but it'll be so much easier if we're on the wires. So sick. But it's it's all like a green screen show, so it's gonna be ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see that, dude. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys could do like five kick flips in a row. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I have one of my friends that's like a real skater that's gonna be there, like making sure the bo- like everything is working right, like the boards and everything are doing the right tricks. Oh yeah, like, so it yeah. just seems accurate at least. Just like freaking, how do you cut? There's those new phones you can cut the people out in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like we're just gonna do like traditional like green screen where we're gonna oh, be sick. on this giant green screen that'll be like almost as big as this room. Sick. Damn. And then we'll we'll be film like they'll film in and then like my friend Sean Barrett who I do a bunch of green screen videos with mm-hmm. he's helping he's like like co creator like helping sick, make it sick dude it's gonna be super sick yeah you re- you do really well behind the green screen or in front of the green <laughs> yeah. screen I should say <laughs> you do really no well <laughs> yeah yeah you do I mean yeah. in front no. of it <laughs> I'm but yeah no I love making green screen stuff yeah so. that shit's sick dude yeah. I remember when we were filming Jackass, we had a green screen bit. Oh, yeah. And, dude, I swear, like, I thought something was going to happen. Like, they're going <laughs> to come out of the green screen. Yeah, yeah. Remember that day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, that day was so scary. Dude. So, like, that day, Knoxville was texting me, and he was like, hey, uh, like, make sure you take off your glasses when you walk in and, like, he kept saying all this different stuff. He's like, let me know when you're like five minutes away. Let me know when you're 10 minutes away and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, what is about to happen huh. to me? And he was just fucking with me. Oh, my God. And I God. get there, and he's not even there. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> like, everyone was on edge that day. Yeah, yeah, because we are trying to do like um, ads for the promotion. Yeah, we all thought it was a prank. Yeah, though. we all thought it was a prank, dude. So we were all freaking out, but it wasn't. It that was wasn't. the funniest part. Yeah, that's like. I was so surprised because, yeah, usually you, we're getting pranked. Usually everything's a prank. Yeah, <laughs> usually everything's a prank. That was like the first day where they're like yeah, serious remember, about it. Remember when we did the the COVID thing? Like, and then oh they my shot the God, table up. dude. That was so funny. I thought the world was ending. <laughs> Seriously, dude. It went so slow mo. Like all of a sudden, it just goes boom. Yeah. And I got I got knocked out of my chair. You got knocked out of your chair. 
<laughs> it was gnarly. That was so funny. So funny. Your eyes look a little better. Yeah, they're they're better. So good. that's good. Should Can we tell the again. story? Oh, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll tell some of it. Like yeah, so I uh, I was like, I, you're sleeping in, <laughs> yeah, in, so in a bed. I to to, yeah, I had to go to this like, pretty much. I fell asleep on this giant beanbag chair, and I didn't really think about it not like it, it not being clean. And then I woke up the next day and I had this horrible pink eye. Like it was, it was really bad. And then it, my left eye got really, really bad. And I like got to the point where it was like swollen shut. Then my other eye got it too. And it got really, it got really bad. Then I'm like just trying to clean my eyes out one day. And I accidentally end up cutting my retina with my nail. Bro. And then I had to go to the hospital for that. And then it took even longer to heal. So like, you were like helping me like walk around for like two weeks. Yeah, dude. I had to give you the pit viper so it'd freaking yeah. cover your face. Yeah, I had like a Stevie Wonder thing going on. I was yeah. just wearing the pit vipers. And they looked good on you. Yeah, it it just like, dude, it hurt so bad just having the light in my eyes. Dude. So having the pit vipers was dope. Yeah, yeah dude. Shout no, out pit viper. <laughs> that was gnarly, dude. You're straight blind. <laughs> yeah. It was like so I bad. felt so bad. Like, <laughs> when I had to like write on paper or anything, like, I couldn't even see anything. <laughs> It was so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad for you, dude. I was like, dude, yeah, that, this is gnarly. That sucked. You got to wash those beanbag <laughs> covers, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. For Thanks real. for helping. Man. Yeah, no worries, dude. I got <laughs> you. Fun. Yeah, we're like in meetings, like, and you're just like, just sitting there and you couldn't even see. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see anything. You couldn't even see. And then, for, then when I finally could see, I... The light hurt my eyes so bad because I hadn't seen the light in so long. Holy so fuck. it hurt for like two weeks after that with the light. I was just readjusting and seeing the light fuck. again. So it was bad. Yeah. It was really bad. But I now, couldn't see your eyes then. Now I can see your yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. I was like always like closing my eyes and just yeah, like dude, in the darkness. Poor Zach, dude. I was like having like fever dreams, remember? And I'd be like talking in my sleep. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were saying the weirdest shit. It was the funniest shit. You said like, no, Jeff, or something. You're like, you're like, you're like on set or something. And then you go, then you're just leaving. You go, yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. And I was like, dude, he's fucking in a good dream. You said like, grab the skateboard. That would be sick. Dude, it, and it was so crazy to me because even when I, when I wasn't sleeping, I was like, ha when I was just closing my eyes, when I had like the gnarly fever, I started like going into like a dream state and like, talk, like, it was hearing shit that wasn't there. It was oh, so gnarly. Gnarly. Dude, it dude. was super gnarly. I'm glad you're doing better. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Damn. Yeah. We we're, we we're on a freaking, yeah. We we're roommates for a while. <laughs> Hey there dudes, it's me, Poopies from Jackass. And I'm here to tell you about Manscaped, the ultimate solution for all your manscaping needs. Let's face it guys, no one wants to deal with razor burn or nicks and cuts down there. That's why I highly recommend Manscaped, the only razor designed specifically for men. Manscaped's advanced technology ensures that you get a clean and smooth shave without any discomfort. Plus, the skin safe features make it a safe bet for even the most sensitive areas. Trust me guys, you don't want to end up with razor bumps and irritation down there. That's why I rely on Manscaped to keep my package in perfect shape. And if you head over to manscaped.com and use my code POOPIES, you'll get a special discount on your purchase. So whether you're preparing for a hot date or just want to feel confident in your own skin, Manscaped has got you covered. Don't let hairy bushes down there scare your partner away. Use Manscaped to trim the shrubs and make your manhood look its best. So what are you waiting for? Head over to manscaped.com, use code POOPIES, and start manscaping like a pro. Your partner will thank you for it. And trust me, you'll feel like a million bucks. Thanks for listening, guys. Sick, dude. Well, have you heard anything from Steve-O? Uh, yeah, I talked to him the other day. Sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. Stoked. Yeah. Yeah, um, I th think he was in Australia. Yeah, yeah, he was in Australia with uh, Vinny. I think Scott was there, too. Sick. Yeah. I saw they filmed some stuff with my friends, Marty and Michael. 
They like oh cool. They do like some uh, they do like pranks and stunt stuff. Cool. They're really cool. Hell yeah. Um, Have you heard of these kids? Um, I forget their name, but they're doing gnarly, gnarly shit. And I guess like one of the kids like busted out his teeth or something gnarly happened and there was a medic there and um they didn't like the medic was trying to help him and they said no medic and the medics what? left the scene what i forget who these kids are i gotta text my manager can you babe can you text karsten and ask remember he was talking about those kids in the truck ask who those kids are i don't know who these i forgot their name but these kids are are where pretty, are they from? I don't know, Canada maybe. Okay, but mm. yeah, they're like doing some stunts, and I guess they're having a stuntathon. Yeah, soon. Yeah. And um, I was trying to like become a judge or something. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, maybe you. Is you, it the POR guys that you're talking about? Maybe a stuntathon. I don't. I know, know they're doing something. They're doing gnarly shit, but like yeah, they yeah. weren't even getting like medics or anything. They're just like. I don't know. They they think they're gnarlier than us, but I mean, it was just super simple, like pain stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, is it? Did you did you talk to any of them before? No, no, yeah, no. Okay. My manager, um, like, was mentioning them. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll get their name here in a second, but um, uh, yeah. So summer's coming. Yeah, stoked on that. Are you gonna come surf with me? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that'd be fun. Sick. I definitely want to learn how to surf. Sick. The yeah. I definitely need some pointers because I've never really gotten up. Okay. So yeah, I got you, dude. Three steps. It's so yeah, easy. Sick. So easy. What's your um who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Hmm. I don't know, dude. Um, if you were to pick one chick, who would it be? Um Hmm. You can pick two. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, no. Uh, hmm. Probably like. Probably um, Marissa Tomei, the one she was also in the. She was like the mom in the new Spider-Man movies, oh, but she okay. also back when there was this movie she made with Joe Pesci called My Cousin Vinny. Okay. Um, she's, yeah, that's probably probably one of them. Sick. <laughs> you have a cousin, Vinny, too. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's not his cousin. It's not his cousin. What? What's her name again? Uh, Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei. If you're watching this, yeah, that's Zach Ass is right here, <laughs> and you're his crush. She has a crush on you, so get at him. No, I'm just joking. Do you have a girlfriend or anything? Uh, yeah, I do right now. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. Be mad that I said that. I'm sorry. We won't. We won't. do I should have asked you that first. <laughs> it's all good. It's whatever. It's just a how's how's your girlfriend doing? Uh, good. Yeah, good. Doing good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, there's so many questions. Like <laughs> I should have wrote them down. Just ask away. <laughs> ask away. I'm an open book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever gotten shot by a bulletproof vest? No, no, I haven't. Um, that's always something I wanted to do. Um, I thought though, like that could be pretty cool. Um, I had this one thing I was trying to do once where there was this one artist, like back in the day, like back in the day, like where he filmed this thing and he like gets shot by like a real gun, but it, he doesn't have a bulletproof vest on. He just shoots part of like the fat on his arm, mm -hmm. but he had like someone do it. Oh, gnarly. And I was like, dude, I would like back when I was like doing super gnarly stuff, I was like trying to get that done, but no one would shoot me. Yeah. So I'm pretty, I'm happy that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> that could have went like really wrong. Right. For yeah. sure. You get someone that doesn't know how to shoot a gun and the, yeah, they, they fucking kick. just shoot my arm. Fucking, yeah. I'm, like, gnarly. I'm fucked. Gnarly. So, um, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Indiana, um, near like Northwest Indiana, which is near Chicago, pretty much. It's like 45 minutes, 50 minutes from Chicago. Okay. Like, it's not really like the rest of Indiana, which is all like farmland and like more rural. You're in the uh, suburbs. Yeah. This is more like a suburb of Chicago in a way. I see. Like even on Craigslist, um, 
it's uh, like it's under Chicago and like that part of Indiana. And like we would get all Chicago news. We wouldn't even hear about the rest of Indiana. Damn. Yeah. So you got you got pretty bored in the neighborhood. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's why like my friends and I would we started making videos because it was just a way to have fun. Mm -hmm. And so we started doing tons of crazy stuff. Like I started filming videos when I was like ten, but they were at first it was like skits and stuff, but then it turned into it would always end up being stunts, and then eventually when I was in middle school we started doing like crazier stuff. But then in high school, I had a bunch of, like we started doing really crazy shit. The first video I that I had like went viral in high school was like, I set myself on fire, like compl I just lit my whole like bottom half of my body on fire. With pretty what? Much. Uh, I don't want to say because I don't want people to do it. But, okay. But I is it still up, on the internet? Yeah, you can okay. find it some places, but it's like. Um, just look up fat kid lights himself on fire. You'll okay, find uh, okay. a video of me somewhere. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So I looked up like the safest way to light yourself on fire, which is insane to even try to oh my like, God, think that's dude. a thing. And then, uh, we found, we like, we tested it out a couple times too, but like a smaller version of it uh -huh. to see how it would be. And then eventually we're like, okay, this will work. And I ended up not getting burned. Like when I did it, I only got. Like I wore this zip up hoodie, so the the button, like the zipper thing, got really hot, and that burnt me a little oh, bit. Oh, gnarly! But that was it. Like everything else was fine. Like I wasn't, I didn't have to go to the hospital, nothing. Okay, who's the stunt coordinator for that one? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just me and my friends, and like we're on the sand. We we're like on the sand dune. Okay. And the mess of things is we only had like one cup of water. Like we didn't have uh, anything. Oh, like, gnarly. Really no fire so extinguisher. Like, yeah. So I'm using the sand oh to get put God. out. I'm just rolling down a sand dune. Oh my and God. And then eventually it gets put out. But then part of my back was on fire and then I just laid down and it went out. Do you regret doing that? No, no, not at all. Because I, I started making money online, like making videos like that. Um, so then I kept making more viral videos. And then, like, te like every once, like, my friends and I would make these viral videos, and then they would end up going, like, on, like, it would go viral online. There's some different websites back then that would pay you if you made, like, the homepage of their website. There was also, like, TV shows that would hit us up and want to use our clips. Like, there was this channel called True TV, which had, uh, like, all these shows, like, Top 20 Dumbest or Top 20 Daredevils or, like, top 10 rednecks or whatever they would make all uh -huh. these like clip shows like before ridiculousness and like tosh.0 and they would like take they would, they would like pay a decent amount of money for the clips and i could keep and i could license them out to other shows wow so i started like doing pretty well from that that was the start of the career yeah it was and then eventually there was this uh like digital cable channel called g4 um, which is like a video game channel and they mm -hmm. had all these different shows in there, but they had this one show that was called web Sue, and that was just like a clip show sort of like ridiculousness, but it was pretty, it's pretty funny. Um, but I was on every episode of that as a clip. I had a clip on every episode at least Damn. for the first season. And so was that was the, cool. Was it the top 10 sexiest? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and then eventually sort of the season finale, they flew me out to LA and that was my first time I was on like TV, like, like actually. And I had, I filmed all this stuff with them and then. So they flew you from the suburbs? Yeah. They flew me from Indiana Damn, out dude. to LA. Well, I was in high school and I was like, dude, this is going to like work out. So I kept like, pretty much at that point. I was about to get expelled from school, like, anyways. So, uh, and uh, I was, like, the beginning of my senior year, and I was like, dude, I'm going to get expelled. They're, like, getting <laughs> mad about all the video stuff. Like, because, uh -huh. like, I'm using other people from the school. They weren't, oh, yeah. Yeah, they were, like, getting yeah. upset about that. They're trying to make it into a way bigger problem than it was. Right. Like, one person did break their arm, and, like, that was my friend, uh, my friend Andy. That was super gnarly. Uh, <laughs> that video was insane. But like we stacked up all these milk crates, and uh, we were, they were all trying to run up it. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it wasn't even like my that was before that big trend came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it was way before that. And it was like so we were doing the milk the milk crate. The milk crate challenge. Yeah, back uh, in freaking 1995. Yeah, like I think it was like 2007. Okay, back then. so technically, like we really like 
like, yeah, we, I've talked to him since then, and he was like, dude, we we were doing this way before that. Right. We had all these people. And uh, he There's ran so up. so many copycats these yeah, days. Yeah, he ran up, and it was almost like the thing in Mario where you go up the thing and you jump to get the flag, mm -hmm. but he would jump and go into my trampoline. That's what we were trying to oh, do. Okay. And he oh gets, my God. like, he gets all the way up there. And some other guy threw a because he threw a crate at someone earlier when they were going up it, and so they fell. And this other guy fucking throws the crate right when he's on the top level, and it knocks it over. Shut and he up. falls down, and his arm snaps. Oh my fucked. god! Um, the guy's like, "Watch this!" Yeah, it was pretty gnarly. That's gnarly. Um, wasn't anticipating that happening. Then we took him to the hospital, and then school got hurt. School yeah, got school word of heard it. about that. But then, like, so they were like, "On to," they were like, "Yeah, this is like dangerous. You guys shouldn't be doing this." But everyone wanted to do this stuff. It yeah, was fun. for real, they're and, willing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I, we just love making like, crazy stuff, and I, I have. We had a lot of fun doing that. Sick, dude. <laughs> Hey there guys, it's Poopies here, and I'm excited to tell you about Jerkmate, the ultimate adult community where you can make all your wildest fantasies come true. With Jerkmate, you'll never have to jerk off alone again. When you sign up using my promo code Poopies, you'll get 10 free gold to interact with your favorite model. And let me tell you, there are thousands of horny cam models just waiting to fulfill your every desire. But Jerkmate is more than just a premium live cam site. It's a taboo free adult community where you can explore your sexuality without any judgment. With a diverse selection of live models from all over the globe, you're sure to find your perfect fantasy partner. And the chat features are out of this world. You can take control of what happens with a model's gold menu. You gain extra attention and total privacy with the Go Private button. Plus, with hundreds of categories and tags, you'll never run out of options. But that's not all, guys. Jerk may also offer sex games with world-famous porn stars. You can even trigger a model's vibrating toy with the Live Vibe feature. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can spice up the fun with Cam 2 Cam interaction. So. Sign up today using my promo code POOPIES and get 10 free gold to start exploring all that Jerkmate has to offer. And don't forget to check out the exclusive videos and photos. Thanks for listening guys and have fun unleashing your fantasies on Jerkmate. Uh, one time we did this thing where I we made a jousting lance out of this tree limb and put a boxing glove on the end of it. And the guy that broke his arm, my friend Andy, he like drove it as fat, like probably like 20 or 30 miles an hour and rammed it into my nuts. Holy shit. And I ended up hyperextending my knee. And that was like one of the, like my knee still messed up from that. Yeah. Like, it, is that was, your worst injury? That was like, back then it was. And then I did tons of crazy nut shots and stuff back then, but back mm -hmm. to the whole school thing. So I ended up like, they were trying to get me in trouble for like they said I was like recruiting people to light themselves on fire, which wasn't totally true. Um and I was like, dude, I'm not gonna <laughs> deal I'm not gonna deal with this. So I uh I pretty much was about to get expelled, so I just dropped out and got yeah. my got my GED a few weeks Let's later. Let's go. And then uh kept making videos. Yeah. Sick, dude. Yeah, I took my GED. Yeah. How many times did it take for you to pass it? Uh it was just once. Yeah. yeah. I ended I did like this clap like Technically, they made me take like this class thing though that I had to do for like mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. Yeah, and then I continuation school. Yeah, I did this class for a couple of weeks, just like doing that. And Refresh then, the test skills. Yeah. yeah, and then I ended up passing the first time. So did you cool. like school? Uh, I mean, it was fun, like hanging out with everyone. I didn't really like being in school in general. Yeah, like after you learn like all the basic stuff, it's like. If you sort of know what you want to do, it's like, why am I learning all this other stuff? For sure. How are you in algebra? Not good. I mean, no. I feel like maybe basic algebra is yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But like when it starts getting super crazy, I'm like, yeah, I don't really yeah. need that. Like, I don't know what I'm going to use Yeah, that. the solution is like the line and then go straight. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like one number and like four numbers. And you're like, yeah. what the hell do I do here? <laughs> yeah. You're like, okay, this is stupid. Let's go do some stunts. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
Sick. So you- and I would always get in trouble in school, like just for like joking around. Were you a class like, clown? Definitely. Like one in middle school, we did this. Uh, I had these stink bombs, and <laughs> we <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> like we got these stink bombs online. I think we got them on eBay or something. And then we we went and uh, we threw like two of them in the in the in the bathroom, like near in the cafeteria. Oh shit! And so the it, lunch lady was pissed, dude. Okay, this it was so gnarly. Like it made it. It's, I didn't know it was gonna smell that bad and be that insane, but it smelt up the whole cafeteria. People started puking. The lunch lady, <laughs> like the lunch ladies, are puking. <laughs> Like, yes. you could smell it all the way up to, like, the third level of the school. Holy shit, and it dude. Was it went through the gnarly. walls. It was so gnarly. Holy shit. And they were trying to figure out who did it. And then I given some other random guy a stink bomb. <laughs> yeah. And he, uh, he, he got caught with it, and he didn't want to get in trouble because they were going to blame everything on him. Oh, no way. And then he, like, he, he ratted on us. He snitched then, on you. And then my friends and I both went in, like we got pulled into the principal's office and he goes in there and he says it was all his stink bombs. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know that what he had said either because they had separated us. So I was like, yeah, they're all mine. So they had like different stories. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Like, they're trying, trying to put it all dra- together. I was trying not to drag anyone else into it. And uh, but yeah, then they still put us both in uh, in school suspension for it. But they were like trying to like, uh, do like out of school suspension for a while, um, because it was like after nine eleven, and it was it's just because it's called a stink bomb. Yeah, they're like yeah. making it's like a way oh bigger my deal. Gosh, dude, and they're making it into a way bigger deal. Gnarly, than gnarly. I'm like it's not a real bomb. Like, yeah, fuck, it's just liquid that smells like <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So. Then you didn't freak the lunch later. like, yep, you're not getting as much food as you are <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah. They weren't as nice after that. I bet. Wow, yeah. that's an awesome story. So when they flew to LA, what happened in LA? Uh, we filmed a bunch of stuff. Um, we like we filmed like this different skit for the, a couple of different things for the episode, and then they like used a bunch of my videos in that episode too. And then it ended up coming out, and it was pretty good, dude. It was sick. sick. Were your yeah. parents proud of you? Yeah, they were stoked on it. Um, because like that was the first time they really saw that it was like could like lead to something. Mm-hmm. you know um but For then sure. my but my family and stuff they weren't really stoked in all the stunt stuff in general because they were just afraid of me getting hurt mm-hmm. and then it was like racking up medical bills it didn't really seem like it was worth me doing you know yeah yeah but then like eventually i got like the i had an mtv show for like a season and they saw it paying off there because but uh i had stopped doing stunt stuff for a long time yeah like after high school, just because the like, injuries, well, no, uh, just or the like, bills, it's like a bunch of stuff, yeah, like combined. And then we, I sort of got a normal job. I was working at Walmart. For oh, like, Walmart! I was working at Walmart for like three and a half years. Uh huh. And then, but there was like two years in between that that I just wasn't doing stunts. Also, so I went like five years not really doing. Took a little any break, stunts. and then I got arrested. Well, like. While I was working at Walmart, I got like a DUI for weed in Indiana, and I ended up having to go to jail for a month. No way. Yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't. Uh, I didn't, wasn't even high when I was driving, but my 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 friend smelled my friend smelled like weed. So the cops had like the cops had nothing to do in this yeah, time. Yeah, so I very, bet. But I, I was living in a different part of Indiana where there's literally nothing. Nothing. Going on at all. They're sniffing my, out the yeah, freaking stoners. Yeah, my friend smelled like weed. I just picked him up from work, but he actually set off the alarm at the gas station he works oh, at. Nice. So the cops followed us. <laughs> oh shit! And you know they pull us over. He smells like weed, and they're like, "Okay, it smells like weed in here." Um, we need to mouth swab you. And I was like, no, you don't. You're not yeah, doing that. Yeah. And then, but because I would have passed the mouth swab, but because I denied doing it, it's like considered like an admission of guilt. And then they take, then they got a warrant for my blood. And there's definitely like, hey, weed stays in your system for a long time. Yeah. So I went to the, I go to the hospital. They take me to the hospital in handcuffs and get my blood drawn. No way. Then I had to go like, I went to the jail that night and then they let me out in the morning, like on my own reconnaissance or whatever. But then like I worked at Walmart for like nine months after that. And then I got a letter in the mail saying I had to go to court and I was like, fuck dude. 
they're actually because I thought they weren't kind of. I thought I was good. Yeah, after yeah. nine months. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was good, and then I like, did. I did month in jail, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, pr- I didn't do. Then I go to the court date, and that's when I do the month in jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, when I, after the court date. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I do mm-hmm. the month in jail. So and they then, just didn't even let you go home. They just straight from court to jail. Yeah, pretty much. Like I, uh, yeah. So I had to do that. That sucked. Damn. How was jail? Um, it wasn't that bad. Um, it like at first, like I met a couple people in there that I still talk to sometimes. Um, but uh, it it wasn't as bad as you would think. But it it got kind of gnarly sometimes. At the end of it, yeah. Uh... Sometimes it got kind of gnarly. Like one of the the funniest things though is like. This was like really scary at first. When you go in there, there would always be someone that would come in at night that would be like, I don't belong here. I don't belong oh, here. Oh, yeah. They start here. thinking. Yeah, they start screaming and stuff. And that was super scary to me at first. But then like after like a week, I was like, <laughs> yeah. it became like really funny. And it's like, you shut the fuck up. Yeah. You belong here, dude. You <laughs> fucking did it. Like, God. No way. Yeah. You know, like, fuck, dude. Shut the fuck up. We're trying right? to sleep. Yeah, dude. I've had some experiences like that. Yeah. So. They don't like that when they freaking wake everyone up. Yeah, no, it's a it's a big no. Yeah, it's a big no no. Like when you're, they're usually like in like the holding area when they're doing that. Like if they did that in the fucking block part, you get the shit kicked out. Of you. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. No, yeah. right, so you got out of jail, and then parents were still proud. Uh, yeah, dude. When I was in jail <laughs> too, they had this one day where they needed like volunteer people to go and like do this like sandbag thing for FEMA for this like drill. Uh huh. And. uh they were like I. I said I would go do it. So they let because they would, they would let us go outside pretty much. So I was like, oh, fuck yeah, sick, yeah. So dude. I went and did it, and uh, then they put me in the news on the front page of the paper in town, shut, like in my jail and everything. <laughs> yeah, yes. like helping them like fill sandbags and dude, shit. It was so funny. That's so awesome. Well, you're doing good for the community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are helping out the community. And then uh, there's a lot of yeah, there's yeah. a lot of good that comes from jail. It's not all bad. But yeah, the whole time I was in there, though, I was like, I want to like, I don't want to work a normal job again. Mm-hmm. I want to do You're what I over love. Walmart. I, yeah, I'm over working a normal job. I want to like do something that I love, and that's making videos. And I wasn't really sure if that was going to be stunts at first, but then I was like, sort of assessing like what's viral online right now. There wasn't a lot of stunt people, mm-hmm. so I was like, if I start doing stunts again, I can probably go viral. So I start doing the craziest stuff I can think of. I I put the sk- I did this one where I jump on the skateboard on the spine ramp and it snaps in half. Yeah, that you broke oh, your leg. Yeah. Oh no, not that. That oh, was that was, that was later. One. It's coming up. <laughs> oh damn! And so I did this one where I jump on the skateboard and it snaps in half, and I like nut shot on the rail, bro. And that went super viral. And then like one of the next really big ones was like I. I wrapped a bunch of firecrackers around my body. Oh yeah, like that's the them. yeah, that's yeah. the one, dude. Like firecracker. Vest. That was gnarly. I did that. That one really. You viral. had your X Y Z hat on. Yeah, yeah. Because I had been talking to X Y Z, and they were like giving me a bunch of clothes, and I I was Sick. making videos and stuff with their stuff on. Sick. Shout and out then, Tommy. Yeah, shout out Tommy. Um, then uh, I went and uh, like pretty much Stevo reposted the firecracker video. Yep. Then he was like, let's come, like, I want you to come out. I talked to him on the phone. I want you to come out. We'll film some stuff together. He usually doesn't do that with people. No. So I went out and I filmed this, like, gnarly thing where I skateboarded into a cactus, like a cactus patch. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, that yep. went really viral. You guys were in Carlsbad, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Sick. It yeah. was at the lagoon, huh? Oh, uh, well, we did that thing in LA, the cactus thing, but oh, okay. I was also, like, I, I ended up moving down in like Encinitas for a little bit too. Okay. We've all been there before. A weekend trip to the casino canceled because real life came calling. Well, my bookie's new and improved online casino is here to change the game. Dive into a truly realistic casino experience featuring the latest in slots progressive jackpots, and live dealer action, all from the comfort of your own home. Take advantage of weekly blackjack tournaments and a brand new collection of high-end games for a chance at real cash rewards. The MyBookie Casino provides a Las Vegas experience 
when the action's in your hands. And the best part is, you don't even need to wear pants. Your casino begins today with a generous sign-up bonus using promo code POOPIES. That's promo code POOPIES to secure yourself a sweet deposit bonus. And that's not all, because their revamped loyalty program ensures that you'll be showered with rewards, including free spins, cashback offers, and a host of exclusive VIP perks. The more you play, the more you win. Play anytime, anywhere with my bookie casino. Ready to play? Head over to my bookie using this link, mybookie.website slash poopies. Enter promo code poopies to score a deposit bonus. Don't wait. Start winning big today. Um, but yeah, so we we're filming a bunch of crazy stuff. It was really fun. So, and then I also like within five months of me getting out of jail, I got this TV show deal, and that was like really awesome for me. I was like, "This is sick!" Like I, this is all like paying off, right? Yeah, but I got, I went through the ringer before that happened though, just like getting hurt and getting burned, having all these different things happen. Yeah, like, not, it, a lot of it's not on film. Uh, well, there, like that time, I filmed a lot of a lot of that was on video, but then there's other stuff that isn't on video. Yeah, um, but uh, that's but what it, that's what it was like for me. Like at parties, I just do stupid shit, and yeah, we wouldn't yeah. even film it. Yeah, I'm like, fuck, why didn't we film that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, you know, eventually, then I ended up making an MTV show that was fun. What was that called? Uh, Too Stupid to Die. Okay. Um. But uh, yeah, it, like I want the main thing with that though was I was like a I was still like a, kind of like a gnarly drug addict at the time, mm -hmm. so I wasn't really like present for it, and I I really regret having that happen, you know, because I wasn't like able to do like I wasn't able to give it my all, yeah, at all, yeah, for like, sure, not even close. So you weren't you I weren't could, the full <laughs> Zach. Yeah, I wasn't the full Zach. Like and I I feel bad about that for like the my other friends on the show and just me personally you know mm. like I could have done way better but yeah. we ended up doing some reshoots where I was sober and that helped but it wasn't really enough so the show like the kind show did, faded the show did okay mm -hmm. and it uh but it didn't do like it didn't do like it did fine but it didn't do amazing and they wanted it to like do really well to get a second season so mm -hmm. we ended up not getting the second season fuck um yeah but and then in between then i was just like fuck what am i going to do you know mm -hmm. so i just kept filming stuff for online and then eventually i got hit up by the jackass guys hell yeah dude yeah that's when we made it <laughs> yeah yeah that's when you made it dude yeah that was fun hell yeah i still have this vision of you with the freaking kite the <laughs> rainbow kite dude and you freaking hit jump in the cactus and you're after you you jumped in the cactus you're rolling <laughs> and i was like down at the bottom and i was like holy shit he's, he's gonna take me out <laughs> and you like stopped right in front of us thank god because behind us was a wooden fence <laughs> and we would have probably like gotten so worked like we would have gotten <laughs> yeah. hurt really hurt if you kept rolling yeah. but by the grace of god stopped you yeah and yeah that was an amazing time yeah that was amazing really time yeah i loved i loved working with you and yeah no it was remember fun, that dude. day we were like at the picnic table and we were just like chatting it up yeah I it was like when mgk was there yeah yeah that, at that day we're like dude we're so stoked to be here yeah I remember, super sick yeah dude. we had we had a good talk at the picnic table yeah that was awesome hell yeah um Freak, I had a good question. Um, this is what happens. <laughs> oh, um, no. Did we ever find out those kids' names? Yeah. What is their names? Oh, yeah. So it is. It's JJ and them. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, they're sick, dude. I love POR. Hell um, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've hung out with JJ a couple times. Um, He's really cool. My friend Kyler films with them a lot. Oh, Kyler does? Yeah, Kyler Sick. films with them a lot. They Sick. they make a lot of gnarly stuff. They just had a Vice uh, documentary thing come out. It's really good. It's pretty Sick. interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's who yeah. That's who my friend Carson was talking about. Yeah. 
I definitely want to go film some stuff with them. So if you ever go, I'll try yeah, to go too. Yeah, we should. They're doing a stunt-a-thon or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard about that. I definitely would like to go. I think it would be fun. I don't want to like. I don't want to get fucked up. I don't want to really participate. Do. I mean, the thing is, though, like, but when I, if I go. I'm gonna want to do something. Yeah, and for like, sure. I, and it's I, I just feel like you. everyone's gonna expect me to do something. Yeah. Also. So it's just like, I think it could be fun. Um, just figuring out what that thing is that I'm gonna do would be, uh -huh. would be cool. Yeah. But yeah, they're gnarly as fuck, dude. They're gnarly, dude. Yeah. Yeah. They're shout really out gnarly. por. Yeah, yeah. You guys are gnarly, dude. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, dude, these guys are gnarly. They're calling off the medics. <laughs> don't even need the medics help dude like that's heavy yeah like, yeah jj just like jj is also a wrestler okay and he uh dude he just did this one he was doing this one stunt when he was wrestling and he ended up breaking his back dude he's uh he's like in a back brace he they did surgery and everything he's gnarly. gonna be he's gonna be good gnarly but oh, like thank he, god yeah he like he got fucked up from it gnarly. yeah there was also this like re their wrestling stuff is awesome too really dude. backyard yeah. wrestling yeah like they all well, they're doing they've done some stuff with like gcw which is like an actual like wrestling thing foundation yeah federation um, gcw is sick um sick. and they also have done some stuff with uh they have their own like wrestling thing too sick but they also have done some stuff with uh oh, i forgot the other name of it um uh, it's like i'm not sure what it is okay but, but yeah this other they're doing some stuff with this other federation that used to be like really big too okay um, sick. but they're like coming back so it's pretty cool hell it's yeah dope seeing all that stuff and jj is like a good wrestler too we need he to like get... puts all of his stunt like stuff into wrestling. Dope. Like he'll get hit with weed whackers in the middle of the match. Holy and stuff. shit! Dude, like they're one, throwing he, weed whackers yeah. at him. Holy dude, shit! Like sometimes, like uh, there was this one that he did where he like he lit his like crotch on fire and he got kicked out of this wrestling like thing in Indiana because he and they're not allowed to wrestle there anymore. No way! Because he uh, he did this thing where they lit his crotch on fire and then they they take a weed whacker and then turn it on. And go to hit him in the nuts with it, and it's like supposed to put it out when it when that happens. Oh, because the air. But, yeah, but they use too much of the liquid, and he just stayed on fire, and he's running around. And they're trying to put him out. Oh my god! And then he, he like burnt the shit out of everything. His nuts. He, he has nuts. And his and, dick. Yeah. Holy like everything. fuck, yeah. dude, that's heavy. Like he had to get like skin grafts and shit, like on oh, his legs. I dude, think. Gnarly. yeah, he was really gnarly. Fuck. That's but yeah, he's very dedicated to doing gnarly stuff. That's cool. Yeah, those guys are those guys were really in, impressed me. I was like, damn. But um, you ever uh, you ever think we're gonna do another movie? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it, I think it's possible. Um, that's like the million dollar question I get every every time I see a fan. Yeah, yeah, they always ask that, and I I don't know. I don't think it's not. I don't think it's impossible. Yeah. Um. I think it's. I definitely think it's possible. Um. For sure. It, it might happen. We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, I mean, I hope it does. That would be really fun. Um. I know it would be. Like I don't know. I sp I've still been writing down ideas and stuff just in case. That's good. That's yeah. good. So. Good. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Hell but, yeah. I mean, like the movie did well. So yeah, like, it did. I don't see them not wanting to do it at some point. Dude, I'm so fried when we're getting our royal royalty checks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, that's dude, so funny. I put the wrong, I didn't even put the apartment number where I was staying at. Yeah, yeah. So all my checks got sent back. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. but I guess yeah, it's. Yeah, they take like fucking six months. Yeah, to show dude. That I guess it's to like. Me too. Yeah. I guess it's a blessing in disguise because um yeah I wasn't really in the right mindset so <laughs> yeah, yeah I probably that's... would have blown through my money so yeah, I'm kind of yeah. stuck. That's how it happens. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> money comes and goes. <laughs> yeah, no. I said especially when you're not in the right mindset. <laughs> I said that to my dad the other day. He's like, "No, it doesn't." He goes, "Money does not come and go. You need to save your money." That's like the smart way. I'm like, way yeah, you're right. Thinking. That's Pops. definitely the smart way of thinking. But yeah, no, I know. I know I'll make more money. Definitely, like, yeah, we'll fuck. make more money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good though, as long as we're having fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the the so, most important. You know, thing. as long as you're like having fun, like really like doing something that you love, and just you know staying consistent with it too. You know, it'll yeah, it'll work that's out. a huge part. Staying yeah. consistent, it'll work out. Because that's what I did on my YouTube channel. I wasn't consistent. 
Yeah, yeah. The more consistent you are, the better it's going to be. Yeah, for sure. Any um any advice to the younger generation? Um hmm. I don't know, dude. I feel like I'm the <laughs> worst person to give someone advice about like what to do in Stay your life. in school? Yeah, yeah, stay in school. Uh, <laughs> you know, fucking don't text and drive. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. Um, I know I was but, proud of you because you're driving um, yesterday or today and you're like, sorry, I didn't get back to you. I was driving. I was like, good job. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I'm proud of you for not doing that. Because <laughs> things can happen that uh, quick. I don't want anything oh, yeah, bad to that happen That shit to you. sucks, dude. Um, Fucking any other I good don't know. advice? Uh, yeah, just do something that you love. Like find something that you love and and do it and like stay consistent at it and like keep doing it. Like it's uh, listen to your parents. That's like one way to like be happy. Yeah, it's like I, I even agree. if it's not like your job at first. If you want to try to make it a job, just always be doing that too with your with your job. I mean, sometimes it sucks having like a shitty job or whatever, but that's not forever. That's temporary. You yeah, know, as long for as you're sure. like making the. You're making headway towards doing something else. Exactly. You know? Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Zach, yeah. you're the man, dude. Thank you for coming on no, thanks the for shittiest me, podcast man. ever. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a great episode. Hell and yeah. um, we'll hang out in the future. We got to take yeah. you surfing this summer. Yeah, we got to go surfing. Got to make some content. Yeah, let's do it, dude. I Hell can't yeah. wait to get content with you, dude. Fuck yeah. I'm like so excited. Like it's been too <laughs> yeah, long. It's been really long. Dude. For sure. Well, guys, Fuck thanks yeah. for watching and um, stay tuned. Big, uh, big things happening here on the shittiest podcast. And when Zach gets his podcast out, please go watch his podcast. Do you have a name for it? Uh, not yet. We're figuring okay. it all out. Cool. We're getting all the getting everything. I'm set sure up. they'll see it though when when yeah. it comes out. All right, oh, guys, yeah. thanks for watching. We're gonna wrap it up here on the shittiest podcast ever. Your host Poopies and my special guest Zach Ass. Um, that's that's a wrap and have a great day and we'll see you guys next time. You. The Shittiest Podcast is produced by the world's worst people. Tyler Nielsen, Ryan Tillotson, Frank Driscoll, and narrated by me, the narrator. Special thanks to the Straw Hut team.